If we want a future in which all energy is generated sustainably, then we need to find ways of dealing with the peaks and troughs of energy demand. Of course, we need to store electricity, but it's also useful if we can store heat in a lossless way. In 2020, a spin-out company was formed to take research by Eindhoven University of Technology and TNO to develop a heat storage battery small enough to be used in the home. The patented invention uses a thermochemical principle using a salt hydrate and water. So how does that work? And why has it taken 10 years to develop? Water and salt you put them together, then uh, heat is released. And the nice thing is you can also reverse that process. So by heating up your new salt, new salt crystals, you can separate water once again from the salt and store it separately. And as long as you are not putting those two together, the energy that you've used to separate those, those components is stored. And it sounds very easy, but just imagine a salt crystal and you have water. So water is binding to the crystal. What happens is a new crystal is formed, but also the volume is increasing. And if you're heating it up once again to separate your water from the crystal, it's shrinking again. So that process is going on. And you can imagine that is that is introducing a kind of mechanical load on your system. So most souls are falling apart or are uh, making new conglomerates. And that's not a nice thing if you would like to build a rechargeable battery. So two main characteristics of a thermochemical reaction. First one, it's loss-free. And the second one, it has a relatively high energy density. And the practical implication is that you can make a battery very, very small. They've now succeeded to make a salt that is stable for a large number of cycles. The system turns out to be 10 times cheaper than conventional solutions using electricity. So where does the Eindhoven engine come in? The Eindhoven engine project is filling in a crucial and remaining gap in the other projects. And why it's crucial? It's focusing on uh, determining the state of charge of our battery. And that's where Eindhoven Engine was uh, creating added value because uh, now we have also Fontis on board with uh, crucial expertise in the interaction that we need from the heat battery with the peripheral systems. Uh, so not only developing sensor technology, but also in terms of uh, uh, bringing your data to the cloud and communication to the outer world. 